so uh, we know that uh, one of the qualities of a spiritually evolved soul is that he is paradukha dukhi he sympathizes with the sufferings of uh, the other souls right but at 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 our level where we are practicing sadhakas uh, how do we see this and what is our duty as a spirit soul uh, occupying a human body okay so if we are spirit souls occupying human bodies how do we exhibit the quality of para dukha dukhi of being empathic with other sufferings yeah in in terms of like what would be our duty to okay what will be our duty okay. yes um, almost all of human life is centered on finding a balance between desire and ability hmm? finding a balance between say for example if somebody is just materialistic or sensual that they may just want to eat a lot of food <coughs> or indulge in their senses but in the body limits them similarly so somebody might be athlete and they want to play and they can perform very well but even athletes have to be careful about avoiding burnouts that they can only play this much and they can't play more than that so there is there is the desire of what we want to do now i'm not using the desire word desire in a negative sense just that we have a desire to do things what we have to do is if what we want what we desire to do is different sometimes it can be positive sometimes it can be negative but there is there is always this balance between desire and ability ability can be physical ability can be uh abhi financial ability can be whatever when whatever area we are talking about so with respect to us also we understand that we want to be we want to help others and that is a that is a attribute of a person who is devotionally minded but at the same time how we help others will vary from person to person we so we have to see what is the ability that i have in this situation so for example if somebody <clears throat> has the ability to influence broader social situations then they work accordingly to do that so somebody is in a say for devotee is in a is in law enforcement or if somebody is in a political position then they have to use that to they need to do what they can with the ability they have so if we are not in a, if there is a particular acute social situation and we are not in a position to deal with that situation directly then we understand that while there are specific problems and specific solutions for those problems beyond that the, there won't be any enduring change in society unless there is a elevation of human consciousness and we can if we are practicing our own spirituality and sharing spirituality with others we are contributing to the overall raising of human consciousness and if we are doing that then we are a part of the solution and how big or how small a part of it we will be that will depend on our ability that will depend on how much uh, say krishna empowers us how situations play and we get particular opportunities to move forward but we do what we can with our particular situation 